All right, here we are at the final sanding. All the hard work is done. The torpedo is ready for its last coat of varnish. As you can see, the surface has been thoroughly sanded once again. And as you can see, it is solid and smooth. And that is because of all of the times during the coating process that we have sanded it down and taken the time to maintain the coatings throughout. So in the end, you have this to work with. This is what you want to work with. Whether you have nine coats, 10 coats, 11 coats, 15 coats, you want to maintain your coating throughout. So in the end, when you sand it out, you don't have any lows, you don't have any ridges. You can see all the transitions are smooth. There's no lines and there's no humps. We are sanded and ready to go. And whether you decide to buff it or not, the varnish is going to look gorgeous because we've taken care of the boat throughout the whole process. We didn't wait until the last coat and sand it out and then fill spots. We did that early on, so all we had to do is concentrate on the varnishing. I need to mention that all of the sanding, all of the sanding in the process has been done by hand. Absolutely no machines. Especially when you're going for a show finish. There's no machine on earth that can pull out as fair a finish as you can with the block and the proper uh, usage of it. And that does take practice, that does take experience. But even if you don't have much experience, your results will always be better doing it by hand than by a machine. That's how you get that mirrored effect. That's how you eliminate all the swimming in the finish. You can read somebody's shirt that's standing across the boat like you should be able to. It takes a lot of sanding, but you only get to do this once, and you want it to last forever. So let's do it when we got it. And it's going to pay off huge. Sometimes things don't always go according to plan. And you might miss a day or two coating the varnish throughout the process, and that's okay. It's not worth it to hurry up, patch things together, and try to accelerate varnish and cure time. Do it right, and you'll have a finish that'll last you for many, many, many years to come. But this is it right here. This shows you that the finish is going to be awesome. The last coat of varnish could go on almost mediocrely, if that's even a word. But uh, because of the, the whole base that's been maintained throughout, it's going to be really hard to mess this up. All the little steps that we've taken along the way make it easier for us in the end to achieve what we've been wanting to do the whole time. So this is what the final sand should look like again. Let's get some varnish on it and show you what it looks like.